In this video, let us consider the microscopic features of small intestine as a whole and learn to differentiate between the microscopic features of duodenum, jejunum and ileum. Duodenum is the proximal part of small intestine. It is 25 centimeters long and extends from pylorus of stomach to the duodeno-jejunal junction. Jejunum is about 2.5 meters long and forms the proximal two-fifth of small intestinal coils. Ileum is the longest part. It's about 3.5 meters long, forms the terminal three-fifth of the intestinal coil and ends at the ileocecal valve. Dr. Michael Horsch of University of Medical, Michigan Medical School has provided the histology sections which are being used in this video. You can visit this site for other similar histology videos. Small intestine, like other parts of the digestive tract, is made of four layers in its wall. From the lumen outwards, the four layers are mucosa, submucosa, muscularis externa and serosa. Two main functions of small intestine are completion of digestion and absorption of digested nutrients, water and electrolytes. Both these functions are possible by increasing the contact time with food. This is best achieved by numerous surface projections at various levels which increase the surface area thereby increasing the time of contact with the food. The first level of folds are the plicae circulares or valves of Kirkring. These are the permanent circumferential folds of submucosal layer. The second set of folds are the villi which are the finger like folds of mucosa. Here the lining epithelium is thrown into numerous folds with a core of lamina propria. The final level of folding is seen as the finger-like folds on the apical plasma membrane of the epithelial cells called as microvilli. These are coated by specialized glycocalyx which helps in both digestion and absorption. These tens of thousands of microvilli will provide the surface with an appearance of a brush border or a striated border. Mucosa consists of lining epithelium, lamina propria and muscularis mucosae. Throughout the length of small intestine, the surface shows numerous mucosal projections called as villi and infoldings to form intestinal glands. Each villus is covered by surface epithelium and carries an extension of lamina propria in its core. The core contains fibroblasts, smooth muscle fibers extending from the muscularis mucosae and various types of cells of immune system, fenestrated capillaries and blind ending lymphatic vessels called as lacteals. Intestinal mucosa that covers the villus and lines the glands has at least five types of cells. Enterocytes are the most numerous. They are tall columnar cells with basal nucleus and apical microvilli. They help in absorption and in digestion. Second type of cells are the goblet cells that secrete mucus. They are sparse in duodenum and jejunum, becoming more numerous in ileum. Panit cells are found in the base of intestinal glands. They have basal basophilic cytoplasm where nucleus is also located. Apical cytoplasm shows intensely acidophilic secretory granules which contain antibacterial enzymes. Enteroendocrine cells are the small cells with clear cytoplasm lying very close to basement membrane. Two types of cells, namely open and closed cells, are differentiated based upon the presence or absence of extension of the cytoplasmic process onto the surface. 
the cell secrete cholecystokinin secretin gastric inhibitory polypeptide and motilin in small intestine stem cells help in replenishing the other types of cells beneath the lining epithelium the lamina propria surrounds the intestinal glands and forms the core of the villus the connective tissue of lamina propria contains fibroblasts smooth muscle cells of immune system and lymphoid follicles in ileum it contains aggregated lymphoid follicles known as payer's patches these payer's patches are visible to the naked eye on the surface and extend to the underlying submucosal layer wherever the lamina propria shows solitary or aggregated lymphoid follicles the follicle associated epithelium shows the presence of m cells or microfold cells these cells transport and present the antigens to the underlying macrophages or other immune cells in addition to the presence of m cells the lining epithelium here shows fewer goblet cells and modified enterocytes muscularis mucosae shows an inner circular and outer longitudinal layers of smooth muscle these smooth muscles also extend into the core of the villus as mentioned earlier submucosa consists of dense connective tissue blood and lymphatic vessels and mesenes plexus of nerves in duodenum the submucosa shows its characteristic feature that is presence of brenner's glands brenner's glands are the tubulo acinar glands made of columnar cells they secrete alkaline mucoid substance this is required to neutralize the acidic chyme coming from the stomach muscularis externa is made of two concentric layers of smooth muscle inner circular layer and outer longitudinal layer orbax plexus of nerves are found between these two layers interstitial cells of kahal are found between the nerve terminals and smooth muscles both in submucosal layer as well as in the muscularis externa layer and these generate the pacemaker signals entire circumference of small intestine is covered by serosa it is the outer connective tissue covering with adipose tissue large blood and lymph vessels and nerves covered by a layer of mesothelium however the serosa layer is absent along the line of attachment of mesentery and on the posterior wall of the duodenum where it is retroperitonealized so let us quickly recall that small intestine shows the same four layers of gut namely mucosa submucosa muscularis externa and serosa characteristic features of entire small intestine are the presence of plica circularis even more prominently the presence of villi and microvilli lining epithelium and intestinal glands show the presence of enterocytes goblet cells panet cells intraendocrine cells stem cells and m cells in lymphoid follicle associated epithelium while these features are broadly common for all the three parts of small intestine we can differentiate the three parts based on shape of the villi and certain distinguishing factors duodenum is identified by the presence of broad ridge shaped villi and presence of brenner's glands in submucosa ileum is identified by fewer finger like villi and presence of payer's patches in lamina propria and submucosa jejunum is identified by presence of tall foliate villi and conspicuous absence of both brenner's glands and payer's patches so once we identify villi and confirm that this is a slide of small intestine we look for presence of brenner's glands which would make it a slide of duodenum we look for the presence of payer's patches which would make it a slide of ileum absence of both would make it a slide of jejunum thank you hope you enjoyed 
this video.